Welcome to the Traders Show. This episode is brought to you by Paperstone. Hey guys, welcome back to the Traders Show where we talk everything business, finance and entrepreneurship. Today we are honored to be to have a wonderful guest who can will introduce. But for today we're going to talk about brokers and Martin is one of the people we have worked with for quite some time now and he's going to tell us more about brokerage firms and how it works, okay? But apart from that, um this week we've been watching the markets as well. Markets have been quite quite choppy. We've seen yesterday we saw the Dow uh and a lot of indexes stocks falling more than 1 to 2% yesterday it was a very very hot day markets were volatile on the other side we're seeing the dollar also trying to maintain the dollar strength continuing to fight the people who are trying to sell trying to move further up and we saw that in the rest of the other pairs as they dropped down Aussie dollar dropped down USD card was shooting up and it's quite quite a good time to be trading okay so be active in the markets when there's volatility it's good time to trade and that's what we are seeing in the markets there comes a time when markets become stagnant and there's nothing nothing much markets are not trending it's more or less just moving sideways and ranging so now is a good time so pay attention to that the australian index as well a- a- asx was also down about 2% um us 500 us 100 which is the nasdaq and the s&p 500 and the dow jones were all also down amazon was down 7% yesterday so it's quite a good time pay attention to the markets the vix is up at 32 which is quite a volatile level okay it's normally ranging around 17 Yeah. yeah but now it's double that so that means there's volatility in the markets apart from that um that's it from my end i also had one or two trades running i had a gold trade running and i had an uh dow jones running which now market is sort of back at my entry point so i'm still paying attention to it still not moved i'm still paying it's not na- uh nullified my analysis so i'm still paying attention to that if you want to understand how i did that analysis be sure to watch our technical videos and you'll see it so that's it from me and taras Hello hello greetings people greetings traders listeners from all our platforms we appreciate you for always tuning in to listen to us uh and uh, uh collaborate with us so today as Ken as Kaleba said we have a guest but i leave that to Ken to introduce a guest uh he always does that better uh for me i've had one trade this week i had a gold long trade uh successful trade <coughs> uh, about 2% win on that uh and that is all I had for the week no much trades just a lot of uh running the company and uh yeah So today uh, I'm interested to have the guest here. I'm also interested to know much about him, much about his work experience, much about where he works. Uh, of course he's our partner. Can we'll say much about that and I hope this int- this conversation will be as interesting as we make it be. Can Hello hello traders. Hope you're having a wonderful time wherever you're watching us from. Uh, so as my colleagues have said, today we are lucky to be joined by one of our partners, guests and a friend also. Uh so Martin has his name is Martin. I'll do a detailed intro just right now. But first before I do the detailed intro, I'll talk about markets like my colleagues have said. Markets are quite quite interesting right now. I personally have not taken any positions. I was looking for a Dow short position. I never really got to my entry, so I didn't have any trade uh, that was running this week. But I have a couple of setups that I've been watching. Just like Caleb said, you can jump on to our YouTube channel and you'll get some of those setups that you normally watch. Paperstone gives you access into the global markets with more trading opportunities, first class customer service and peace of mind. Withdrawals are quick and for those in Kenya, M-Pesa is enabled. Paperstone Markets Kenya is regulated by the Capital Markets Authority. To open an account with Paperstone and begin your trading, click the link on the description below. <clears throat> so moving on to the show. Today we are lucky to be joined by one of our partners. So his name is Martin Goge. He's the senior sales manager at Paperstone. So Paperstone happens to be one of our partners. It's a broker we normally recommend. We've been working with them for quite some time and we recommend them for many things. Fast withdrawals, uh low transactional costs. <clears throat> they don't have they don't promote some ethical practices, so they have really maintained some ethical practices and that is very very important for us when we're choosing who to partner with because there are some things which are promoted about trading which we don't personally agree with and we have tried as much as possible to do a way or to shun from those practices so martin has extensive experience in the trading field he started uh, trading back some time ago so he's been in this industry for about 9 years he's one among the few people who've been in the trading industry before the regulations came in contributed a lot to the creation of regulations and is still in this industry uh, contributing a lot to his growth 
So he's worked for three major firms. He's worked for EGM Securities between May 2018 and June 2019. He worked for Scope Markets between June 2019 and April 2020 and he's been working for Paperstone now since May 2020 all the way to the current time which is about 2 years 1 month uh, according to LinkedIn. Before that he was training people on how to trade the forex market and he also gathered quite some ex- experience about trading and training during that time and today he's joined us to tell us more about trading more about the brokerage side of the business there are very many fallacies which go on in that side of the business oh the broker takes out my stop oh the broker does this oh the broker does this so today we're going to clear out those myths and, and misconceptions we're going to tell you the truth we have one insider who's been in that field and they're going to tell you the truth so martin welcome and feel we feel honored to have you on the show thanks for having me Okay. Thanks. Welcome Martin. <coughs> so yeah. to start us off, I think Caleb can start us off today. Yeah, yeah, no problem. So uh, Martin as they said, welcome. Uh, yeah. We're honored to have you. Yeah. So starting out, how how did you get started in the trading? The whole industry, what what made you interested to start? Did you start back in high school after? No, uh I mean like just like any any other guy right after campus It was around uh, June 2013. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we have just uh, cleared, I've not yet graduated. Uh, a buddy of mine calls me, oh, uh, there's this guy who is uh, training guys um and uh, trading he actually I said who actually wanted to start a fund. Uh so this guy was a classmate and there was this um hyper thing about uh, trading. So, entities were coming up um It was an entity that was called Futures Fast. It was in town. It was hiring guys. So this guy, so this guy wanted to start his own thing. So he's hiring guys with their background in finance, mathematics. Mm. Yeah. So I got there uh, a bit of training, and that's how I started trading. Which campus are you in, and what what did you study? Oh, I was in uh, UN. UN. Uh, I did actuarial. Yeah. Oh, actuarial science. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So yeah. the person <coughs> you're talking about is one who trained you to know about forex. Not really. Uh actually the guy was uh was a friend. Uh he was my classmate. Uh, in so university. He, yes, yes, okay, yes okay. he's the one who uh, uh who knew about uh I mean, markets. you know, yeah, no no about markets. He's a new he's the one who knew about the company. Oh, uh, that so he company. Just called, oh, you know, okay. yeah. He's like, "Okay, boss, I've just started this thing. Yeah, would you like to join?" I'm like, "Oh, really?" Okay, yeah. fine. So are they training you? Because I knew I knew the markets are tough. I mean, you know, starting mm-hmm. it is not uh, you know it was not something like a sales job, whatever. Yeah. You know, it's starting on the deep end, and uh, that's why I started. So starting you know trading demo accounts, trading or something. At the time now you're funds. using still offshore accounts, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, there were no entities in Kenya. Uh, there was no was broker actually in Kenya. No, no, no. There was no broker in Kenya. Yeah. I mean, yes. Uh, there's no. I mean, I've. Uh, had of guys who are setting up uh, you know like a kind of a front office whatever but there was no proper broker in Kenya. Mm. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And what got you hooked? What told you? What made you feel okay? Because at first you're saying the friend told you will like now nah, what's this? It's tough. Yeah. What now made you okay, let me do this now. Uh I just have a thing uh with the uh, with financial markets. Typically. Yeah. Uh so having my background is in finance and i'm like okay uh <coughs> so we are trading stocks and this is i'm like okay uh we can i think i have the ability to to bring um, some mathematics i thought that <laughs> i knew uh to project uh, the prices for what mm-hmm. i remember there's one thing that we used to try called the monte carlo technique it's taken monte carlo monte carlo, oh, monte carlo. Monte carlo okay. technique okay. Yeah, it's technically used to focus the prices of um, of put and call options Mm-hmm. uh yeah. options um so i had actually done a project on that other okay back in campus yeah. oh yes yes oh, yes, yes, oh, yes. So you already nice. known that before you even came to oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. but uh, uh you see the problem with the campus is that uh, you do it as a project you don't have really you know real mm-hmm. life uh, practicality. Uh, practicality the practicality of it yeah. Yeah. i didn't know the the practicality of it but uh, i actually knew you know so i mean how the markets are moving Uh, that was right after the 2008 uh, crash crisis. Cra- yes crisis so technically i know you know what's happening yeah. default swaps whatever mm. i mean uh, i think had a proper background on on fx actually there was uh, this nsc i don't know whether it's still there uh the competition uh, we used to used to it's kind of demo account mm-hmm. but for nsc stocks 
Mm-hmm. So we for, for campus. Yeah, I think it's still yes, there. Yes, I think it was I open for still there. Yeah, I don't think it's still there. Yeah, it's still there. Yeah. We used to do it with my my buddy, uh my agent even have a laptop. <laughs> so um, how are you doing it? <laughs> uh, very funny. Uh, yeah. because uh, especially the moment we registered. So uh we went campo by then eh, when uh, we registered and um for some reason there was a strike. Mm-hmm. Uh so when in campo you know you're using Comp, uh, school school materials uh, sc- yeah school uh, stuff know. yes mm-hmm. school stuff uh, there's a computer library whatever um but uh, now we there's a strike uh, mm. we are at home for like i don't know uh, three months mm-hmm. I don't remember yeah so every now and then i have to visit the cyber mm-hmm. check uh, <laughs> how the work is going i mean the the positions that we took <laughs> yeah uh, and i remember we could have been the best guys yes in that competition i think we were like number 10 for something yeah only that uh, we ha- we were long uh KCB shares mm-hmm. and then there was a rates issue mm-hmm. so we kind of lost value and something and that was what uh, kind of messed up but uh, yeah uh, i had got a background in market trading oh so right. did you get into the interview that you are now going because you were like you said your friend called you you went to this company oh yeah yeah i mean uh i mean that was easy because they're like oh uh, actually guy yeah, you know they ask you <laughs> financial markets i mean everything is a fingertips I okay mean, yeah so uh, boom yeah so, you got in yeah 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 i get in uh it's a trading now i can't so man it's now this you know this is whole other thing mm-hmm. uh it was not really new i mean uh, the 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 market movement uh, the volatility was mm-hmm. what i thought was a bit um, was a bit strange it was technical high because i was used to you know uh, no more checking no more nsc and such mm-hmm. uh, but remember i mean i had not input any any cash so it's just uh, what you do but i mean i could not campus uh, i could not barely afford a, a bull dog man it's a typical campus yeah. don't have anything uh yes i get in so uh and um by then i remember i'm like this go to guy because um, i mean understand financial markets proper uh if it's something like a simple moving average you know uh those are things that we had uh, actually done in statistics Okay. Yes, when I was doing my I mean statistics. moving averages. Yes, moving averages, Spanish moving averages, mm. how to calculate them, weighted moving averages. Okay. Oh. I mean all yes, all that uh, it's statistical formulas. Okay. So oh, and yeah. ah, I mean I know to calculate this thing but implementation <laughs> is uh, How to use <laughs> it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Convergence divergent. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. I mean it's all statistics. All mm. these are the all statistical formulas. So I knew them but you know implementation you know comes in. Mhm. Yeah. Mm. And then uh, but then I'm in conversation with my guys who are in uh were in uh, an entity called Features First. Uh so for that is it international or something? Yes, it was an international company that just set up at uh, at Delta. Uh they're no longer there. Delta so the one in Delta Towers, yes, in Westlands. Yeah, okay. there, yeah. 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 Yeah, so these guys uh, they are trading futures, mm. futures market. Mm. And I think they were trading from like uh it was they were trading US sessions so like around from 2 Mm-hmm. because they used to go home pretty pretty late i think at 10 mm-hmm. and uh, these guys are trading corn mm-hmm. uh lean hogs whatever the mm-hmm. markets are serious they're making crazy amounts of money yeah. and by then i remember they were taken to india for training mm-hmm. yeah so they were not even training well, yeah. the traders yes the traders in that yeah so we are in conversation what i'm you know what are you doing on this end yeah. exchanging notes so it was pretty good so that, that is now 2014 Ah uh, that was in 2013 2014. 2013 okay 2013, yeah. 2014, what was your point of setting up in Kenya were they trading people's money those guys yeah no 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 ah my god just... Syri- no it's a, it's actually an israeli it was an israeli entity mm. yeah oh. yeah yeah so uh, i don't think they're still around okay. i think yeah, i've never heard of them no the one no it was our bucket shop man it's a <laughs> international company they had offices <laughs> in uh, I think in Israel in uh, in India the Indian traders Kenya I think in UK or something Mm, yeah, oh, yeah. Great. Okay. So you worked with them? No, I didn't work with them. So uh so uh, me I'm uh, doing my uh, trading my train my FX thing. Mm-hmm. You know, uh so these guys who, who are there now them because now for them they are doing serious serious trading. cash. Mm. Uh you know, <coughs> the guys who are you know making serious commissions from trading. Mm. So we are ex- kind of exchanging notes what they're doing, you know, so 
Yeah. So how was it? You're starting off your early training. Because there's a point you came, you, you started trading, now you're trading, yes. and you also started training. How, yes. how was that? So, um, and where did you start the training? So, uh, first of all, uh, we trained a bit. Uh, uh, so you and your yes. buddy? Yeah, yes, me and my buddy okay. and uh, some other guys. So we are training for, for this guy who brought us in, who trained mm. us. So he had this thing of, he wanted to to start a fund mm-hmm. uh it, it doesn't go so well uh, mm-hmm. of course uh for some reason <laughs> because he taken no his traders for him he was just also starting over so he, uh, he also never had experience he didn't have he had got some uh, i mean kind of simple experience not not much mm-hmm. but he had crazy amounts of money he had made money i think i don't know from uh, he was a tech guy or something okay, okay not okay. from okay. trading No, no, he had not made his money, but then he had not made his money from trading. He had made money from uh, other investments. Okay. So he had serious cash, you know, okay. like these guys who are really smart. <laughs> uh, <to trade. laughs> yeah, so fast forward, I think um, uh, 2014, uh, it's like, okay, this thing is not working out. Uh, so, uh, but then I've traded, I mean, I've trained, uh, traded a bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, um, great strategies whatever yeah. I have a set of like eight notebooks like these yeah. strategies whatever <laughs> technical i think oh wow uh, your I think approach I was what really technical to the man you i cannot really say it was, it was uh, because yeah. see the problem with that you are setting up everything flies yeah think oh uh, you can trade fundamentals mm. yeah So you come with strategy, you analyze, mm-hmm. and you know, let, let's say it's uh, something like interest rates. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, countries, you know, they they announce the economies and uh, central banks announce the interest rates like every every like every month or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's no change. Whatever. So you have analyzed how did it move that there is increase, increase how many pips, whatever. So you think you have figured out. Mm-hmm. Uh, you take a position. Only that maybe they had they always also released with a statement which uh, which you don't take into consideration. True. Yeah, you know uh, maybe a trade guy a guy flies in Dubai. Mm-hmm. Say, yeah, come there, boss. I visited this trading floor. They are doing MACD. <laughs> you, you you leave everything. Uh, Go to MACD. On, <laughs> MACD. Focus on MACD. <laughs> yeah, that's what's working. Uh, yeah, another guy comes. Ah, Boss, pin bars, pin bars. Is what to trade. So that is what George Soros. Wanna <laughs> change? <laughs> Wanna change? So you, you can say, I mean, before you you become a grounded trader, mm. um, you try a lot of things. You you try a lot of things, and uh, but the thing is, uh, you have, and by then there was, you know, kind of we didn't have really a mentor, you guys. You are looking up to. Mm. Uh, so you're just doing your own thing, you're trying here, watching videos. You mm-hmm. have like 50 GB videos, mm-hmm. on, you know, on uh, on your computer. So now you have a computer. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then, uh, hey, yeah, my my mom got a computer. Me a compa when I, I think it was in fourth year. Mm-hmm. Uh, because I'm doing a project and uh, man, our one. projects were serious. You know, oh, working okay. mm-hmm. You know, you we actually used to take them in groups. Mm. Uh, and by the way, we did a project on uh, on hedge funds. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So at some point, we even uh, went to I think Alikan. You guys know Alikan too. Yeah, yeah, Alikan. We can get data. Mm. We didn't get data, so I uh, can remember well. It was uh, on uh, value at risk. I determined mm. the value at risk and um, mm-hmm. uh, the risk uh, risk that. Uh, Uh, entities or funds suffer in uh, short and uh, leverage trading or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it involves some serious mathematics, man. Mm. Yeah, serious mathematics, coding. So I was a coding guy. Oh, serious? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, I was uh, yeah. coding some, uh, I don't know, heterodesty, whatever, some crazy things. In what language? Wow, uh, what were you using? Uh, was it C++? I think we were using uh, C++. Okay, mm-hmm. great. Yeah, but uh, these things, uh, you thing is uh, you, you kind of analyze the flow of data and the mm-hmm. noise. Uh, let's say the outliers, mm-hmm. you, know, you can reduce uh, uh, the outliers. And uh, there's something we used to call, I think, FGAT or something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It doesn't add value technically in, in real world. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe the guys who trade in Wall Street, they yeah, use maybe. it. Uh, yeah. But uh, no more day to day. Uh, man, I, I'm not <laughs> For a retailer. <laughs> <laughs> 
training. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And the training. Now, how did you start that side? Yes. Uh, and so how was okay, it? Yeah. Uh, so first of all, in uh, 2014, I'm like, uh, I think yeah, 2014, 2015, I think I can do this. Yeah. I can train. So mm. I sit back. So by then I had, you know, guys knew, um, I'm, you know, I'm training. So like, you know, can you do this? Mm-hmm. So I've come up with this uh, serious course. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, started visiting you know guys offices so mm-hmm. i actually started with the visi- visiting people's offices to teach them yes mm-hmm. so you're going to pitch to them that you want to yeah you know them. these guys they're like oh you have been trading whatever can you teach me yeah, yeah i'm still uh, of course i'm still struggling here and there yeah so they have their offices i so i used to visit guys in their offices train them uh, whatever you know i know how to go about stuff mm-hmm. uh you know market analysis technicals mm-hmm. that's why i started mm-hmm. and then uh, there was this guy who i uh, used to train and uh, and he's, he's still a good friend you know but you know you yeah. have to know yes um so he was a trainer in tech in tech stuff mm-hmm. he's like by the way you know um you train but you are not yet refined so he gives me he gives me some uh, some some notes on a uh, trainer of trainer because he was a tech guy mm-hmm. uh you know like uh entities like safcom the, you know there's some the IT guys uh, there are some courses that they are trained that you can yeah. do. so this guy is like i think there are like three of them in africa Oops, some some courses they are taken so three of them to, yes by then whatever he used to okay. do then okay. i can't even remember ah, okay yeah so he's the one who now takes me through tells me you know do i know this is how you go about it he gives me a trainer of it's called train of trainer mm. uh, courses Uh, so I go through them this is how technique how to teach mm. okay mm. yes it's uh, uh I can t- yeah there's a name they, they use it. yeah it's basically like how how to how teach to train now. yes so how to come up with your course okay yeah how to refine it how to structure and that's how I I started um I was I, I think at that point I was lucky I came through people who you know kind of kind of mentored maybe this so something so This mm-hmm. guy takes me and then uh, there's this lady who I used to train from UK she tells me oh by the way do you know how you can advertise them mm-hmm. you know you can create posters post them on sarit whatever mm-hmm. so that's how I used to do on the um, boards yes the, the used mark. to be both in sarit I used to get clients. how much was it to post back <sighs> then can I can I even remember <laughs> okay <laughs> okay so ah uh, yeah so that's how I started then uh, like oh by the way you know you can um, you can even give talks oh really yeah <laughs> So I come up with a serious presentation. Mm. Um I give talks uh, in Catholic Uni, I give talks in USAU, mm. and FX trading, yeah, serious. so thing I used to to write to the dean and then uh, yeah, the dean invites me I want to just give a free talk to your students in finance mm-hmm. about uh, financial markets, yeah. Uh, it was good. Um so I did that uh, for for quite a while. Uh I mean uh, but of course uh, I I think I used to get like two two students. Mm-hmm. So I have an office and pay rent I have like this. <laughs> I am still my training is still not yet um, yeah, stable. Yeah. yeah, yeah, my training is still not yeah, I'm still you, Where was your office by this time? Oh, I had an office in Hazina. I think Hazina Towers then floor oh, it was a service office. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Mm, nice. Okay. Yeah. And uh, the funny thing when I started there uh, so I have this thing here. Yeah? Uh, figure out uh, how to go about um, I've trained a few students here and there um, I'm still training you know the kid go cash I'm getting I get my first student so oh but there I'm ready to start and she oh wow really okay um uh, come to the office uh, we sit down so uh, I think I needed to pay like 30 g's yeah. to start with because I think the office it was a service office it used to pay 15 yeah. so you have to pay the deposit mm-hmm. so I tell the secretary okay Uh, let me just see this client one so she comes so like, i think it was did i think it was and like 20th january uh-huh. so we have a chat uh, yeah i've been here for, for quite <laughs> a time. yeah so she pays i take her back to the lift come back and pay for the office <laughs> <laughs> so yeah and uh, yeah that's the story yeah, so. creativity <laughs> yeah so i trained for for like a year mm. um, alone we we'll go yeah. to pick you Hey, no, no, so uh, you know, no 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 I was just alone um uh yeah so I'm still discover honestly I'm still discovering I'm not even halfway in effects mm-hmm. I'm trying to train 
taking courses so how was like your day like how was your day structured like you'd wake up just go to the office yes. wait for someone to come or how you'd go to no, the other so, offices so uh, what I, I used to do so when i go to the office you know i'm but then i've created i've registered a company mm-hmm. uh, what was the name Let's call Krill Ventures, man. Krill Ventures. Krill Ventures, yeah. Krill. Krill. Krill Ventures. Krill Ventures. And the funny thing is that there's this guy who was called Anton Krill. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anton Krill. Yeah, so the Goldman Sachs guy. So Anton Krill had a... Uh, okay, there was this guy called Rex Van, Van Dam or something. Lex, yeah. Yeah. Lex, yeah. Lex, yeah. Lex, yeah. Lex mm-hmm. Yeah, he was uh, They did a show manager. together. Mm-hmm. Yes. And they I was did like, that. man, that, that show used to kill me. I was like... What was it called? Yeah. It was called million dollar million, million dollar trader yeah, million dollar yes, trader yes yes, yes, yes. so this, that's what i wanted to create um and now this thing called uh, amplify trading mm-hmm. you, you know this so amplify trading also did uh, something similar so there were bbc shows so there was mm-hmm. that for anton krell and there's one for amplify trading mm-hmm. so i actually wanted to to replicate what amplify trading did, did. Mm-hmm. yeah i honestly had a big dream man <laughs> so after that one year you think after one for year how long did you train so i, I trained for for like one year uh, on and off on and off and uh, so you'd close the office sometimes then you'd no, come no 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 I, i i mean i was in the office full time okay. so but then i'm uh, getting clients so i'm doing show, i'm doing talks in different colleges mm-hmm. uh universities that I'm getting clients posting so I've created my uh, website uh you know my contact yeah the website oh yeah the serious still website still there no man it's still, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was created by a, by a body of mine so mm. so I mean we are all out of campogas are struggling mm. so yeah so the guy right now who created is a uh, serious auditor in government money So but then yeah but then he used to I think he used to live in Madara or something so mm. uh he's like I've created the website but uh, both I'm being this thing pole pole yeah you take like two sock I mean, <laughs> 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 but yeah I was serious but uh, man I, how old was he I think I was uh, 22 23 mm-hmm. then yeah mm. so everyone is just uh, trying to get their uh, feet on the yeah, ground feet on the ground yeah you have your buddies who did uh, who did law so they're still struggling as the people in Joel like mm. uh, you, see you get me this uh, company so just a call so be a, be a minimum you just pay uh, 200 shillings for registration <laughs> 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 like but you know we you know we have a dream you can yeah. push things but anyway yeah so we have registered a company have a website have created these serious course so what i'm doing but then what i was doing is um, now i'm looking for colleges to to partner Mm-hmm. And then so uh, I've gone to several colleges mm-hmm. which this thing you can do and uh, yeah things are looking uh, looking a bit uh, you know looking promising better. yeah uh I think until uh, something 20 I think 2016 or something I don't yeah. know, I can't remember yeah uh then there's this guy this buddy of mine who, who was in uh, who we, we used to trade with now back in the days mm. uh, when I, when we started so he left went to do his own stuff So you yeah, have found this guy who has opened like a, a, a forex office. Mm. Uh they have started a bit uh him. So the guy never used to be uh was not in Kenya, was based in the UK. Okay. Uh, so my buddy and they're like okay, uh, we need so they're getting a bit of clients, they're advertising. So they need one more guy. So this guy calls me, "Hey boss, you want back in I mean I'm still in effects for him he had left completely. Mm-hmm. So I'm like yeah uh, it's a brokerage. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah I'd go that's I get into brokerage. Now this time you're done with education. You closed your office. Yeah, now because the office I mean uh, because it's on and off. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I mean yeah I mean it's not really on and on and off. Huh? I'm still training you know I'm uh, I'm alone so client, I mean technically clients are on and off. Oh, yeah. But oh. then I've uh, actually even started the uh, was closing because because you see with business you you need capital to yeah to run you know maybe to push you like six months yeah and i have just told you how it started <laughs> 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 it's, it's not capital right come out true true but then uh, so i've uh, you know i'm in talks of uh, i think i've, I've visited the uh, Uh, I can't remember even the, the name of the company but uh, there's this guy this year they have I want to you know to start training stocks mm-hmm. I've uh, incorporated even stocks 
uh, I mean, talks for a guy to create kind of a demo account for the stocks so that mm-hmm. you can use to. Uh, and all one innovations. Yeah, the math guy, but the math programmer. Big dream. Hey, hey. So yeah, uh, that's it. Yeah. yeah. And now, vlogging uh, now the brokerage industry. Mm. Because now you've seen now uh, you've been there since brokerage started. Yes. In Kenya. Yeah. You've so this was the first brokerage now coming. Yeah. Actually, that a small entity. Uh, mm-hmm. That's what um, came out to be EGM actually. Oh, the guys oh. from UK who called in. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Great. So, great. No, no, the Tell us. Of, yeah. Tell us now about that. Yeah. yeah, yeah so this transition now from uh, training to brokerage. This guy calls. Uh, this buddy. You know, we are here to. You know, we need an extra hand. So I go to the offices, I meet this guy. Uh, I'm a sales guy, but I <laughs> close him. Boom. He's like, ah, mm. can you start? We had a 30 minutes conversation. Ah, can you start tomorrow? Mm. Hey, and then uh, the next day I, I report there's no uh, there's no training. I mean, I know the market. I've, uh, yeah. I know the market, whatever. I mean, uh, I've yeah. trained. Uh, I'm, I had my own thing going on. So sales so and proper. So I just report. I'm given a phone, uh, Kabambe, and that's how I start my sales career in, uh, in brokerage. brokerage. Yeah. Paperstone is an award-winning online global forex and CFD broker. It offers unparalleled service, exceptional pricing, and quick execution speed. Yeah, yeah. So this yeah. LCA will go on a background. Yeah. It, it, it wasn't what you studied, yeah? No, uh, yeah. but you see, uh, the thing with the, with the forex is, Uh, understanding of the market. Yes, true. I mean, uh, I did mathematics, mathematics, yes. finance, whatever. Yes. Not, uh, I'm, I'm actually there's, there's this guy uh, who was called. He's called Shani Adeti. He used to be CEO of uh, EABL East Africa. Yeah. There's this talk uh, I visit, and they said, whatever you do in campus becomes irrelevant the moment you graduate, mm-hmm. unless yeah. you did med, whatever. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah so uh, I get into to sales. I fit right in. I mean, finance, everything is here. Because mm-hmm. you understand the product. Yeah. I understand the product. I, I mean, I understand the, the whole industry. Scope, the, the industry. Mm. I have the networks. Mm-hmm. Uh, because in broker, you know, because I was training. So I still have the networks. that I was yeah, Your clients now. In, yes, exactly. Uh, yeah. yeah. So how did that continue now? You're, my Kudrio got this entity that was later became a gym. How was yeah, that? Yeah, so fast forward. This, this was 20, 2016. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, so first of all, this guy's pushing for regulations with CMA. He That already started pushing. Yeah, so he has started talks. He mm-hmm. wanted to bring an entity uh, in Kenya. Uh, so he's in talks with uh, with uh, with CMA so that uh, he can be given uh, uh, a lot of no obje- objection. So mm-hmm. It was a lot of no objection. Because that time there were no regulations still. Yeah, there's no regulations. Mm-hmm. So we are onboarding clients in the UK. Mm. Uh, yeah, we, we, we go for a bit. Uh, so that is uh, trips back and forth to CMA because I was trying to understand the deal. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have talks, we do trainings here and there. Um, Now you're training who? Them? Yes, I mean, because you see, like, uh, for them to draft uh, regulations, they need to also to understand, understand the product. So, you know, tell them what the product is, also doing their own research, mm-hmm. I think visiting regulators around the world, okay. seeing how they do, they do this thing. Yeah, and... Uh, Yeah, fast forward, uh, the regulations are gazetted. So you're in the you played, uh, like you, you, you were the fr- you in the fr- uh, you in the front r- uh, the front row uh, in pushing for the regulations. Yeah, t- okay, I can t- <laughs> so I was on the front row. <laughs> But uh, basically, this you guy, have to push you know, it. my we are two of us, me and my buddy. Uh, we are working for this entity mm-hmm. and uh, there's this guy who's pushing his best here with a brokerage in the UK. Mm. Uh, so we are his guys on the ground. Okay. So he's, uh, you know, uh, pushing around with advocates in Kenya, getting the regulations. We are working with advocates because, as much as they are drafting these uh, applications for regulations, mm-hmm. they really don't understand, you know, the product. Yes, yes, the product. So working with CMA so that they understand the product. And this yeah. and this guys from the UK. Had, what are these? Things? Did you talk to them? Like, what are these in Kenya? Why why Kenya? Were these things a lot of growth coming? Yeah, I mean. Uh, Technically, the effects industry was uh, has been pretty big in yes. uh, in Kenya for for quite a while. Mm-hmm. Uh, of course, the hard traders, the guys who knew. I've met guys who are trading back in 2008. Honestly. Yeah. Yes. So the guys who are trading, and uh, so uh, these guys in the UK has also sold them a dream. Mm. Yeah, he has sold them, and uh, yeah, uh, he's also he was a he was a young guy. I think he's like 35. 
mm-hmm. now. Yeah, he was, he was not that old. He, yeah. Yeah, so by then he was in his 20s, late 20s. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's a Kenyan but he's cool in the UK. Ah, uh, okay. he has worked uh, I think uh, for Bank of England for for a while. I don't mm. know what he did but uh, he was he had a short stint. Yeah, so even when uh, he's speaking to CMA, he's like you guy Yeah, Bank of England. Mm. <laughs> Direct <laughs> status. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So So how did now regulations mm. came? Now yeah, then? yeah, regulations came and boom, yeah, you know, fortunes changed. That's 2017 now. Yeah, <laughs> my fortunes change, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, now serious job cash flows. Mm. Like you, you you can you can actually if if let me just frame this question. Mm. Because you were there before the regulations yes. came in and post, and post the regulations. Yeah. Yes. Like the regulation brought in a big change for the industry. Yeah, man, yeah. Because, you know, you have all these guys who... So, uh, you can advertise, number one. Mm-hmm. You know, initially you could not advertise. You could not advertise, I mean, yeah. Seriously, you could not go all out. Right? True. Spreading the gospel. Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. Right now, now, you can go all out. Uh, you can... Uh, Clients can deposit funds in Kenya. So whatever, as much as you had an object, you know, funds used to be sent out to the country. Okay. Yes. Oh. Um, okay, you yeah. have uh, M-Pesa. Mm. Yeah. So, it so you're a Kenyan, but your account is opened in UK? No, yeah, initially, mm. now. That initially, now, yeah, before. Now, you know, accounts, mm. everything yeah, exactly. is it's localized. In Kenya. Mm-hmm. Yes, uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, so everything has been done in Kenya. And mm-hmm. uh, yeah. So now, now that changes. It's a fully fledged business. Now you, mm. you go all out, man. Mm. Right. And where did they set up shop first? Uh, it was so you're one of the first employees, yeah? Man, yeah, I was employing uh, number two. Number two? Apart from my, my, my guy who I formed there. Yeah. Because the remember, be, actually be, before together. I joined, and then uh, the regulations come in, it's uh, like two years stint. Right? A whole yeah. two years? Oh, two years. Yeah, yes, 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 back yes, and forth yes, with yes, CMA. CMA. Yes, yes, back and forth, yes. Uh-huh. Oh, it's yes. a long time. Yeah, it's, it's quite a long time. So, yeah. But now you guys are the ones who paved the way for the rest. Yes, the yes. So uh, I can say number two because now there's this guy, my boyfriend, but uh, now the moment that regulations came in, now they have a fully fledged office, you know. Employing uh, people. Yeah, yeah I'm there. Showing Marketing. The, showing the CEO his office. Yeah, you'll be my boss. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, Who's yeah, yeah. the first boss of EGM? Yeah. This Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, was my boss for quite a while. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay, nice. And then so you think the office was where? The first uh, office? Riverside. Oh, oh yeah, Riverside. remember. Yes, 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 yes. We once came there with Ken. Ken yeah. Really? Yeah, we oh, came. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. was those houses. Nika, they look they're different colors. Those oh. buildings. Yes, yeah. I've forgotten so what it's the called. Office. There's Imperial Bank there. Yes, there was Imperial there many. Bank. There was uh, a number there. of offices. Yeah, we went. But it was closed. We didn't enter. <laughs> oh. We were going. I think it was on a weekend or something. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Dumbo. Yeah. And then now, how yeah. did how how's the indis- industry grown now? And all number one, I may come. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now the brokerage industry. How? Because so now they're about seven. First of all, oh, tell yeah. us EGM. It grows to this point. Then. Yeah. You know, yeah I mean, uh, now with the uh, with the uh, EGM, uh, the lessons. Are, I mean, the the lessons is there. The entity is growing. You know, leaps and bounds. Mm-hmm. Uh, right after that, I'm not with them for long. Uh, then I moved uh, to to Scope, mm-hmm. right? Uh, so now the the next um, broker, an, uh, another brokerage comes in, mm-hmm. uh, which is more of the uh, same shareholder, whatever mm-hmm. same guys. It's kind of I mean, it's not like moving brokerage, just the same guy. So same like guys. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Scope. Oh yeah. NDG. Oh yeah. Same. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Equity group. No. no, so the, the guy yeah. who started EGM uh, moves. The start. founder. Yes. Yes. In the UK. Oh. Yeah. Yes. The guy, the Kenyan yeah. guy, now goes and starts school. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No, he's my boy. He's like, uh, you guys, we started this thing when uh, yeah, <laughs> we had a budget of $1,000 marketing budget. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah, so we, we moved with him, start um, Scope. I'm there not for long. I'm there not for long. And then. And um, Scope is still an entity also in the UK. Uh, no, in terms of like the way there's equity, yes. then they have ah, the express. No, no, no. uh, Scope was a much smaller entity. Much, okay, uh, much, I think they were business. They were business enterprise. Okay, uh, yes. I think so. yes. Okay. Yeah. So now you've moved. Yeah. No. Uh, scope. Uh, not. No. Not much change because it's like the same thing. 
mm-hmm. PGM products, whatever. And I remember uh-huh. I was your client and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I got a quarter too. The only difference is uh, MT5. Uh, mm. the, these guys had MT5. Jam had MT4. These guys had MT5. Uh, so I'm like, oh man, I'm, uh, I'm out growing this thing. Mm. Yeah, so I need, uh, I mean, some serious, uh, some, I mean, the next level. Yeah, next level. Yeah, yeah, because, true. yes, so, uh, boom, uh, I see scope. I mean, I see Pepperstone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Regulated now. Yeah, Pepperstone is regulated. And now, in Pepperstone, you don't have a friend. <laughs> Your buddy is not there. Yeah, no, so <laughs> I, I, see, I, I see an advert. Uh, mm-hmm. They're looking for a senior sales guy. Where did you see that? What? I think it was on LinkedIn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. it was on LinkedIn. Oh, I see. I'm like, uh, they've already gotten their license. They've got the license. Okay. They are just uh, setting up. I'm like, ah, dude, we vibe. you're moving. Yeah, so I give it a thought. Speak to my few buddies because I know if I place this thing, I have it. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's, no one, like, there's no one who's more experienced than I. <laughs> but okay, by then, <laughs> by then because, yeah. I mean, because I've seen the industry grow. Bro, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah, so there are not so many other brokers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, boom. I. Do the application. I think one week later, interviews here and there. Yeah, I move. Can uh, you officially to move now? Yeah, that's when the start of COVID. Twenty twenty twenty. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh. So even Great. before you set up operation, COVID hit. Yes. Before. Yes. 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 Even. Um, but then uh, I think. Uh, uh, because the only person I found that uh, at Paperstone is the CEO. Okay. Sahil. Okay. Yes. Sahil. Mm-hmm. Yes. She's so the only person at that time. Yes. Yes. You One, <laughs> so you know, no employees. You yeah. employee number two there now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> number one. Yeah. I guess Sahil is there yeah. because I, I, when the, because I was supposed to report on Monday, but there's something I had to check out because we were setting up the office. Mm-hmm. So I go on Sunday, so I can say was uh, employee number two officially. <laughs> I got the office before everyone else, apart from the CEO. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Apart from, yes, yes, yes. And how is it been there, Sasa? Oh, man, it's awesome. Because uh, this, this Paluko now is where you stayed longest. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah. I mean, no, because uh, EGM and Scope, you can look at it as the... As one? Because as one entity. Okay, so. Oh, okay. And, uh, just a trading. Yeah. Just a trading. So, you know, that's one one uh, investor. I mean, I was there longest, so... Mm. Ah, uh, so I I moved to Pepperstone. Pepperstone. So uh, Pepperstone now that's uh, like moving from uh, Upper Hill. You are in uh, Manhattan, man. Go up to national uh, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, true. these are global entity, global, global entity, yes. all over. Oh yeah, true, you true. know. Uh, but then, because uh, when you're speaking with uh, with clients, uh, you know, I'm with Pepperstone of these products. You know, uh, they have a uh, Citrada, they have whatever. I'm like, oh, yeah. Mm. No, here I am. Okay. Uh, question before yeah. you continue. Yeah. So, after you joined the brokerage business, yeah. you had to like, is it a uh, law or something? But do you have to maybe quit your own personal trading? Oh yes. Uh, yeah, good question. Yeah, uh, by then uh, the moment I I trade for for a bit uh, until now when the regulations ca- come oh, in. come in because then the moment regulations come in, the, I mean the the it's you are super busy oh, okay. uh, because this is a startup. Remember, so mm. you have and you have to push. To oh, okay. Edge, you okay. Bring clients, you have whatever. Mm-hmm. You have people. You have to make clients have confidence in an, in an mm-hmm. entity. Yeah, so at that point, I actually stopped uh, trading. So is it is it your choice, or you, you it's, it's a lot that you can't trade as you work in the brokerage business? Uh, no, for one and you, dealing traders. No, for me, broker, it was a, was a personal choice. Okay. Uh, most of the, I mean, they are personal choices because uh, with trading, honestly, to to trade, if you want to to give it your all, uh, you have to have let something go, and then. Uh, in most, in all these entities that I have been, I've been been senior sales, so you have technically more responsibilities. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah yes, true. Yes, yes, yes. So you cannot be. And trading good. needs a lot of time, also. Of course, yes. of course. I mean, yeah, you you don't have time to juggle both. Uh, juggle do the time, and also in remember it comes with a lot of pressure, also. Yeah, yeah. true. So the moment you move, <laughs> the, tra- the trade is actually going on here. <laughs> on your side, <laughs> yeah. yeah, you have to perform your job. So uh, at some point, uh, especially when you're in the market, because myself, I'm in front of the markets, yeah, uh, every time, yeah, yeah. So you, uh, I was like, okay, I need to give one thing uh, the best uh, that I can. Yeah. So now you become sales of head of sales team, yeah. Yeah. So I'm, yeah, I'm uh, heading the sales team now at uh, at uh, at Pepperstone. Okay. Yeah. Because for us in our industry, what we do with the education part, like yeah. head of sales, ni mtu anangana kutafuta 
students our clients yes. now on your side if someone wants to come to your career head of sales what what are they doing in a brokerage firm what are oh, you looking to uh, sell i mean you, you know like uh, you know head of sales you are you are uh, all over uh, mm-hmm. technically you have everything is you have a sales team technically you're managing a sales team you have uh, you have your clients you have clients that you're bringing in there's a lot of high net worth individuals that uh, you are working with uh you have the link between the sales and uh, the all other departments mm-hmm. you know, this is not working this is working so it's it's quite a lot it's going year you are the the guy on the ground the link guy between all so, so the sales team the people chiniako now the others what are they selling they're looking for clients to to open no, account no uh basically now for us it's more of servicing clients because what we do we, we how we look at it it's not more of sales but yeah. it's more of service okay yes okay. we are servicing our, our clients we have the clients so making sure our clients are comfortable in opening their accounts telling them the products that we we need yes because more of, or more, more i mean we technically have a product that sells itself uh, yeah. we have a product that clients want we are not really you know closing clients we have mm-hmm. a product that clients want so for us is uh, making them have confidence in the product or answering their questions mm-hmm. telling okay. them of uh, because we always has have something that is that is ongoing products mm-hmm. that are coming yeah, like true. products Yeah so that's what uh, basically that's our main main job. Okay. Yeah. And now the paper stone yeah. many people might be asking like because we get a lot of what Ken was saying when we're starting out the fallacy is what do brokerages do brokerages yeah. manipulate the market they yeah. take my money they stop hunt yeah. how how do how do brokers work and how do they how do they make money? Well uh So we basically the Kenyan mm-hmm. regulations that two sets of brokers mm-hmm. as dealing and non-dealing brokers. Mm-hmm. As of now eh uh, under Kenyan regulations it's only non-dealing brokers that have been uh, regulated. So non-dealing brokers that are technically like agents or something of the sort. Uh, mm-hmm. uh so what we do is uh, take your order push it to the liquidity provider, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we make sure that uh, now the liquidity aspect of it we make sure that we are working with the best liquidity providers uh the market globally. I remember person is a global entity so you know. Mm. Yeah, so uh the market that um, Pepperstone I mean the the liquidity providers that the markets can the best the markets can offer. Mm. Basically that's uh, what basically what what we do as an non-dealing broker. In terms of uh, of that how we, how brokers make their revenue uh it's uh, spreads uh spreads commissions and swaps basically that's the source of uh, brokers revenue yeah. and do you been do you still know in that industry yeah. the brokerage are there many traders coming up oh in kenya because yeah, 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 before yes, the yes, people for yes. jm came so something and now as you've continued yeah, the whole bro- industry because yeah. you're seeing the back end <laughs> Are there many yeah, it's like he has yeah, you're seeing, you know as you're seeing from the front okay it's growing yeah. but you're seeing now actual mm. the numbers I think the market has matured mm. I can see the Kenyan market has has matured mm-hmm. uh we have now guys who are trading for living yeah yeah we have uh, basically Kenya has serious traders mm-hmm. I've seen some of the best mm-hmm. really good traders uh maybe we can say there is uh, an issue of funding we are not as liquid Mm. let's say traders from Europe or the US maybe but uh, the market has I mean there's a lot of interest uh, remember we I think universities are releasing I don't know 80,000 graduates every year yeah I don't know yes so almost most of these guys there there's so much interest uh, let's say in, in trading so yeah. there's a lot of room for growth yeah yes, still very young so in terms of numbers and even in terms of volume oh man I don't think we have technically I think growth is like 25%. Annually. I mean, uh, remember I was talking about things like um million dollar trader. Yep. Yeah. That's true. Uh, something like uh, amplified trading. Yeah. Before we see such entities, mm. Kenya, you know, uh serious guys are put, putting, you know, serious trading floors. I I can't say we have uh, the market has has, has grown. We're still young. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right now we just got the second uh money, money manager. manager. Yeah. Yes. So only the second very very young. Yeah, yeah. So I think the market is still very young. And this is something I like telling my students. This is a good time to be entering forex. It's like in the 1990s seeing the second bank getting their license. 
Yeah, I mean, there's, yeah. And, uh, there's also, a lot of growth ahead. Uh, absolutely. So uh, you look at that now, there's a money manager. Then there's uh, something like uh, automated trading. Mm. Those have noted scratch. Can you be on noted scratch automated trading? Mm. You're not in the levels where True. Eastern Europe is. Yeah. Russia True. or whatever, yes. Or you have some serious... Uh, algo traders. Yes, algo traders. And algo yes. trading, I mean, algo trading right now is uh, is a thing. Yeah, I mean, true. Because, and it's huge. And uh, uh, yeah, basically it's doing pretty pretty well. Because part of our mission, us as Financial Hub, is to... Right now we've been doing a lot of awareness ever since we started in 2019. Yes. Uh, in terms of the schooling and educating. So in our awareness, we've been raising, we've been teaching people how to trade the forex market not as a hobby, not as a side job, but as a real yes. career, 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 as a real profession. Yes. So do you see that becoming a thing in the next few years? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, there's, I mean, there's nothing that will stop guys from making it uh, uh, a profession because, for instance, remember it's uh, let's say you have an entity that mm. has got a license. Mm. Uh, under that, you have traders. So it's the main revenue generators are traders. Yeah, yeah, true, true, right? True. right? Yeah. Uh, then you have a whole ecosystem around it. You know, CEO, secretaries, whatever, administrators. Yeah. You know, analysts. Yeah, I mean, yes. And then uh, I can say, for for instance, um, as and people as traders understand uh, what kind of FX is right mm-hmm. industry as an investment. They look yeah. at it as an investment. Yes. Uh, they look at it as a, as a career. Yes. Uh, that is what now, uh, and that, that is co- that is the point of self actualization as a trader. True. True. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you understand uh, this is an investment. It's not a uh, get. Yes. See you know, Tisha. Yes. Not like gambling. Yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely. It's mm. an investment. It's a career. Now that you know. Uh, you push in your 10,000 hours. Because mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. the careers, you normally see it in many places. You tell people, you know, that you can go study something like, let's say, business, business administration. You yes. can get job many places. Now, in trading, what we've been doing, we've been going to schools, Ken was in USIU, we went to Strathmore the other mm-hmm. day, and we have many other st- schools we are going to go to. Yeah. We keep telling them, when you become, when you enter Forex industry, you can get a lot of things, not just trading. You can trade, but you can be an analyst. You can be a writer. And these people, many of them are coming into Africa. The likes of Bloomberg and all that. So they'll be looking for these people who understand the market. You see the same way you had background in trading, and then now you're working with Paperstone. This is the same thing we're seeing in terms of employment, self-employment and also employment is what we're seeing. Do you see that as well? In yeah. terms of different scopes, forex industry, but you can diversify. Yeah, and uh, also, yes, I mean, like that algo. I mean, I, I keep saying this algo trading is something that is. That's not, the future. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think so. It is. Yep, yeah. It is. Yeah, so maybe believe uh, it is. Algo, algo trading. Even if you go to uh, to investments, uh, investment uh, firms in the in the, in the US. Yeah. I guess we are making serious cash now. The funds are being uh, traded by algos. I mean, they have worked yes. their systems. That's why they're no longer. The guys, they're no, lo- they're no longer hiring traders. Mm. Uh, hiring uh, programmers, mathematicians, just like science guys. Renaissance technology, yeah. you know it. Yeah, Jim Simons. I mean, Jim Simons, the yes. biggest guys of all, one of the biggest yes. guys of all time. He's a doing that. guy. He has mm. PhDs. Yes, yeah, yeah, true. You know. I mean, uh, also, because you <laughs> a story is told, I don't know how true it is, uh, yeah. like in the 2000s, yeah. uh, a monkey was asked to pick stock. And uh, a monkey was a monkey. Uh, yeah, was asked to pick stocks. Okay. And within whatever he picked, um, as compared to what the human beings picked, the monkey was like twenty percent higher than. It <laughs> 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 was random. It <laughs> was random. So I mean, <laughs> the thing is because uh, the market is really expanding, there are so many factors uh, yeah. that are affecting the market. The flow information is crazy. You cannot keep up. Mm. Yes, even the, the market flow. cap, yeah, the market cap itself is always growing. Yeah, the market cap, yes, and uh, the speed. I mean, the, w- whatever is coming up, volatility, uh, volatility. A, hum- a normal human brain is it becoming harder now for a normal human brain to to so keep up, yes, to keep up all with that. what is, to process what is happening, yes, right. So, and there are more uncertainties. Yep. It's COVID, it's Ukraine war, mm. whatever. 
right now there is uh, inflation i mean there's so much that is uncertainty mm. uh but uh so the only the the safe place i think uh, what uh, some of the serious traders are getting their safe place in in, uh, in ea trading as much as they are new you know the guys who are uh doing normal trading mm-hmm. yeah. Because like us, we do normal. Long yes. time, hopefully. Yes, long time. It's to I mean, transition. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah, to become, because with that, you're also seeing, it helps with the volumes. Because I was doing research, we were talking about it to the boys the other day. I think in terms of volume, what Taras just mentioned, the growth in volume, the people who are ahead of us in Africa is Nigeria, South Africa, and Egypt. I think we became, yes. we were number four on that list in terms of volume. FX trading. FX trading in yeah. Africa. Oh, yeah, and yeah. If you remember there was a time they were saying you remember that time they were saying bitcoin Kenyans were there were many Kenyans was on the map in terms of bitcoin, bitcoin holders, holders yeah. so there's a lot of capital i don't know I where mean, it comes from in Kenya but they are high net worth like you're saying who are trading and doing this professionally in financial literacy terms i mean Kenya is uh, is uh, is way ahead which uh, other country in Africa is regulated for ex- to allow uh, brokers i think there is uh, south africa south, south africa, africa. regulations yeah I'm not sure whether Ghana they actually started. Mm. I'm not sure but I don't think they started. Yeah, because my don't know any other no, apart from SA. Yes, yes. And those also came recently, yeah? Where? Recently the regulations or it was before us. No, SA has been around for yeah, quite a while. Quite a it while. has been there. Uh, yes, SA has been around for quite a while. But eventually the whole continent it got regulated <laughs> sooner or later. Oh, well, yeah. it, it, it's an industry but, uh, just like yes, banking. It's an industry that you Yeah, but you see the thing is um But the time we they are regulating yeah. the, the entities uh for instance like Kenya we yeah. far, far much. I mean eventually but you know it might not be in five years yeah long and term. they might not uh, others some entities that have bigger problems mm. than uh, thinking of <laughs> <laughs> so that's not a priority they have more Every problems <laughs> true, true, they think true. to go their stock ma- uh, maybe some entities think first to grow their stock market yeah, yeah. Countries, yeah. okay yeah. okay and now when you come back to paperstone yeah. what's is it for people who want to open brokerage firm uh, broker brokerage Account accounts funds. and all that what's 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 your process is it this like five steps yeah i mean it's uh, it's pretty easy yeah. uh, just straight to the website you know you register uh, for those who want the link is on the description below so oh just yes. click on it yeah yeah, yeah. Continue. so you know you just uh, in, uh, input your details your personal details financial details yeah Uh, we ask you a number of questions whether you've traded before mm-hmm. uh, because we want uh, the moment you're opening your account you actually understand the product that you're getting in mm-hmm. and then uh, upload your id uh, and uh, your care pin uh, that's it okay we ask for the care pin because it's the document that everyone in Kenya has true uh, okay because uh, utility bills is true yeah if you have a utility bill man now what if, if you'll see bill man Okay. Do people still okay. receive those me I really yeah, receive yeah, till yeah. really, really yeah. yeah. so uh, care is the easiest substitute yeah, to that yes 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 because what we look is uh, what, what we look for is um, the proof of residence yeah. okay yeah. proof of residence okay which nice. is necessary yeah, <laughs> yeah then uh, within the next three to two to three hours if everything is correct your account is ready yeah. for trading yeah. okay because yeah. yeah. we've helped a couple of students and within the day yeah. the account is yeah. ready yeah, 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 account is up yeah, and ready then easy. You can offer you offer what Mpesa? Yes, uh, in terms of uh, deposit tiers and Mpesa, uh, withdrawals as well. Withdrawals free. free. Yes. free yes. withdrawals. Yeah, deposit and withdrawals mm. and they are instant. Yes. 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 Mm-hmm. yes. Instant, yeah. Uh but of course other methods, uh, Skrill, Netella, uh PayPal, direct bank transfer. Yeah. Uh, okay. yeah. And in just one sentence, how can you differentiate Paperstone? Why why Paperstone compared to the others? Man integrity. Mm. Integrity. I think the bottom line. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Punchline. So for traders <laughs> <Yeah>. integrity <laughs> full stop. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so for traders out there if you are not trading with Paperstone come to the most <laughs> is it integral? Yeah, integral. <laughs> integral <laughs> broker. And, <laughs> and that was one of the main reasons why we partnered with Paperstone. Why we partnered yes. with you guys? Because before like Ken was saying you get many other brokers preaching the wrong thing. Like just start with your $5 you can make money you brought trainings at Karaka we believe in starting good and starting right with a good amount that you can do proper risk management with $5 you can't i mean yeah. I, i look at it my guy uh, $5 uh, if 
because number one five dollars won't help me as a broker and it will help you as a trader yes okay. so uh and that's what we insist we ask our clients start with at least 200 dollars yes uh because it's an amount that you'll be able to manage risk properly exactly uh, yes you'll be able to manage your risk properly mm-hmm. and uh, the moment you start it's it's not amount that um if uh, let's say if the trades don't go you know way they don't really go your way mm-hmm. it will affect your you know your lifestyle mm-hmm. and it's not also an amount that is too low to for you to be careless yeah, yeah. So because you guys are like ah, true yeah. true yeah. opening an account with paper stone is easy for those in Kenya, you only need your KRA pin and ID card. Simple and easy. To register, click the link on the description below. Five dollars you just gamble in the market. You're not and the next day you have another five dollars. <laughs> and you see, the, the question is, uh, because the, I think the point of departure for for our clients is, how much do you want to make? Huh? So okay. if you ask somebody, somebody will tell you, I want to make like a hundred dollars in uh, in a month so and uh, so how much do you want to invest uh, i want to invest like uh, 50 dollars so you want actually to be making like 300 percent ah so what kind of investment is so mm-hmm. we, uh, the thing is to ask clients to be realistic yeah, yeah. and reasonable yeah be very realistic on, uh, on what you're looking for and uh, as a, as a, as an investor as a trader and then focus on that yes uh make sure you have you know practiced well uh you're realistic i mean you're not um, you're not have uh, ambitious or something mm-hmm. yeah. and one thing i like about you guys and something i've seen you people do differently maybe you can clarify to yeah. me just maybe if i'm wrong um we the the partnership we have yeah. is very good because us as educators you as brokers um we normally see many brokers these people who tell people open five dollars very quick ten dollars start trading they normally do this sort of quick course of about three one week course. or two even three, three days, days even less then they tell you start opening an account but with what i've seen with you people you don't do any of that you've instead partnered with educators who are good in the industry they won't teach you for one or two days out of kwarakisha ti open account open account very fast and if i'm not wrong i believe that's what you don't do paper stone in itself education training here in kenya you don't no, no, you don't no, do no. those three day no actually even in our offices globally we, everywhere we, we don't because uh, exactly the thing is uh, we believe in quality yes of a uh, of a quantity yeah true mm. yes so we want to make sure uh that the moment the moment you're coming on board with us uh you know what what you are doing exactly okay. yeah right. we want an, an educated you know you understand you know. okay because uh, the more conversations the more educated you are about the market yeah the less the risk that you'll be frustrated true yeah. true yes and uh, mm. I mean that's and what you also get a long term client. <laughs> yes, and a lot of because myself yes I make my money from uh, you know from you being a long term client with us. True. Yeah. yeah so I mean I want my best you are in the best interest. True. The best interest uh, my best interest is you as a client. Exactly. Yes. And that's what yeah. makes you guys stand out. Yeah, your interest is your goal is for the best interest of the, the client. client. Yes, the best yeah. Some other guys is just for the best interest best of, of themselves. themselves. <laughs> no, first I mean the best interest of the client is what uh, what is what stand out uh in uh, so what, that's and actually if you if you tend to look at um what we the information that we put out there or whatever we bring out is on uh, R&D research and development, you know, yeah. kind of uh in terms of product. Mm-hmm. Right now I'm um, we are the only entity yeah that is offering four trading platforms mm. right which yeah. include mt4 we have yeah. mt4 we have mt5, MT5. we have c trader and we have MT3. trading, trading view. view so you know yes. can trade from those platforms oh. yes directly yes. so mt4 on individual mt5 we can open trade c trader trading view uh, we have uh, i think the, as of now we have uh, i don't know it's 2000 plus uh Kenyan traders who use trading, trading view directly yeah, it's yes. a very good feature yeah so I'm, I'm not sure the number but now we have uh, and what they do is um, they go to the uh trading view account analyze then go back to their platforms to place trades so for us we have integrated uh all in one yes, yes. now you can be able to place your 
trades directly to Pepperstone from your trading view account. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And just to add on that, yeah. uh, on the trading view, I like also another feature of that. Because uh, I'm a risk manager at FAB, I get a lot of people putting their wrong lot size in their accounts. So if you trade using trading view on Pepperstone, it calculates your uh, your lot size depending on the risk you take. True. So you don't even need to know how to calculate a lot size. Yes. But it's always important to know but uh just because of the confusion people putting maybe lesser lot size or oh, higher high. lot size mm-hmm. for trading view with Pepperstone now, it calculates your your lot size uh, depending on the, the on the risk you put, yeah. So that's that's a very good yeah. feature. Yeah. I think what we'll do is we'll 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 create a video that we can backlink to this one that will show people that feature how yes. to use that feature because there are people who are watching and they're wondering okay how will I use the feature? Yeah, and actually, in addition to that, even for MT4 and MT5, mm. we have some products we offer. They are called Smart Trader tools. Mm. Yes, and uh, Smart Trader tools all offer almost uh, some kind of uh, the features in oh, risk okay. management. Something called mini terminal, mm-hmm. you know, your risk management. Uh, okay, they also have a testing tool. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So we basically what we invest in is uh, providing quality. I mean, services, quality services, quality services for traders to help right. the trader. Yes, yeah. I mean, always something that will push. Will add. A, I mean, value addition tools. Our aim is value addition tools to, to trader. traders. Yes, mm-hmm. they will consistently be in value addition. So. And uh, that's not the end. We are soon. We are also launching some new emerging products. So yeah, stay tuned. We had a we had a short chat with Zahil. He told us a bit of it. So we are we are waiting. Stay tuned. Excited. Yeah, yeah, so for that, I commend you guys. I commend Pepperstone as a team as a company for having best interest the clients at best. Interest. Yeah. As we've been also, cause us we started with EGM. We went to scope to look forward to a good as a paper stone. <laughs> and you yes. know, you get this the people who call you. So what, what did you know? Do you understand how to trade? You don't okay, come for two day trade, three day training. If you understand, okay, when will you open an account? How much do you want to start putting? So they are really taking that process very fast, which a client or a new trader shouldn't be taking that fast. These are the people who enter the trades, enter the market, become traders, do things they don't understand, lose money, then they start saying shaming the industry. Shaming the industry. It's just because of lack of proper understanding and knowledge. Yeah, I mean for us is uh, we, we make sure we want to for you to for our clients to understand uh, exactly what they're getting into, mm. uh, because it affects trading the sophisticated product. Yeah. True. Right. Mm-hmm. So we want our clients to be to understand properly, yeah, uh, on uh, exactly what they are doing. Mm-hmm. Uh, but also, in terms of the the products we offer, we have tried to to increase uh, in terms of our products uh, products offering. For instance, uh, something like um, like gold. We have like uh, I think three four uh, pairs on gold that you can trade. Yeah. Uh, as of now, in total, we have uh, over a thousand tradable assets. Nice. So, mm. I mean, as much as clients just know us for for FX, mm. uh, we have a whole range of other products. Products in terms of uh, currencies, we have stocks, we have ETFs. Uh, in addition to you know the normal metals and agricultural commodities, mm. so we want uh, our clients to have kind of uh, that uh, diversity. Diversity, the, yes, exactly diversity. Mm. Uh, in terms of uh, their market analysis mm-hmm. and the options for them to trade. Okay, yeah. okay, that's very, very good. Nice stuff. So I think me, I've asked, we've asked most of the questions, but before we even end, yeah. for someone who's starting out in trading, what advice will you give to them? Uh, be focused, mm. be consistent. Uh, don't lose, uh, don't lose sight of your dream. I think that's that's it. True. Be focused. Be consistent. Be consistent and don't, don't lose focus. focus. Don't, don't give up. <laughs> <laughs> In short, yes. short. Don't give up. Yeah, yeah. Understand. Yeah. You know, look for mentors. Understand. Mm-hmm. You know what you guys are doing. Take advantage of what broker is offering, especially like Pepperstone. Take advantage of the you know of the service of the options that we are giving you there. Uh, you know that's what I'm saying about smart the tools. We have uh, auto chart east, mm. uh, trading view. Take advantage of all those tools. Tools. Yeah, the information uh, that we give out on our Telegram page. Yeah. Working with the educators, you know. Mm. Understand. Uh, be in a community. Yeah. Of uh, traders, you know. Okay, value addition. That is true. Yeah. A value addition community. Okay. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, I have a last question yeah. that I'll ask, which is the flip side of what Kaleb has asked. 
remember the first time we met uh, you and Sahil we were talking about that subject but I want to see if the answers are still consistent mm. from your end uh, but my question is because now you've been in the industry for so so long yeah. like you've seen uh, both the successful people and the people who fail what mistake do you see most traders making when they're starting out in their trading I I think being over confident okay you see what traders do I mean like even I can say that um that's a really good in trading you know ask yourself why do bank traders make money and uh, retail traders at times they, they tend to be at times on the losing end in terms of the it's because they are not able to manage their risk. Mm-hmm. So you come up with them um, with a trade strategy. Uh I mean it just smashes the market. Mm-hmm. You're doing risk management well. You know the time to enter, time to leave. You know when uh, the trade is not then after you know a few days, I know a few let's say weeks or you know then uh, you like you become overconfident you just start to leave. Yeah? You're like ah okay you're supposed you're supposed to exit a loss at certain point you're like okay let me just see kid go to you know and then i before you know it uh, boss you are uh, in the red uh so not really following up uh, the, the strategy and that's why you hear uh, trader saying a strategy only works for a while <laughs> that's the reason okay. they say a strategy only works for a while it's because they only also used it for a while how so it's they, supposed to be yes so they exactly. change the rules and stuff yes exactly things. yes that's the problem okay yeah. okay yeah that's the same so answer he gave me by he just said risk same management one. basically yeah. it's the mm. same one it's the same answer he gave that time so, so i feel like that's a true mistake that people are making if you're out there making that mistake <laughs> sit down reflect come up with a better plan a better exactly. plan that can can help you anyway thanks martin for being here Uh, we've talked about a couple of things in the brokerage side of the business his personal story uh, about paperstone and we hope to see most of you on boarding both in financial hub and paperstone uh, we're working together we have projects that are coming up we'll do for you videos illustrating some of the things that we were talking about especially the tools that we're talking about that can help you in trading and we hope you learn and adapt them in your trading strategy that's it from me i think i'll catch you guys in the next one Peace. Thank you very much for watching Financial Hub's content on YouTube. For more forex analysis, financial education, podcasts and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe. Mm-hmm.